Good afternoon again, Tube of Use. So, just to show that sometimes we can't always work on, uh, you know, fun stuff. Uh, here we have Kayla and my HU700L Husqvarna mower, which we really like. A couple years old, and, uh, you know, it's treated us really good. It's a great running mower. The only thing I really question on these is the, uh, the wisdom of that auto choke, which it, which it seems like I have to screw with every year. But long and short of it, um, long and short of it, I got to get this thing ready to mow some lawn since our grass is starting to get green with the weather warming up. And so, as you can see here, the bag has seen better days. And uh, I have never sharpened, nor have I even replaced the blade. And so we're going to do a couple of quick things here and uh, show you guys how to do them if you are interested. So, let's get moving. First things first, I'll show you how to replace this bag. And hopefully, Parts Tree, which uh, is the place I usually get all of my parts from, PartsTree.com, for the small engine stuff, sent me the right stuff. Or rather, hopefully I ordered the right stuff, I guess, because, you know, you go online, you order your stuff, it shows up in three to five days, and hopefully everything's right. So. First things first, we'll get the bag off, lift up on that portion there, get the bag up out of here. And then from there, it's actually a pretty simple procedure. As you can see here, there's a little clippy do's that go across and around the framework. So we're gonna go ahead and unclip all of those just like so. Like I said, pretty simple stuff. And uh, basically, what we were looking at is buying another $250 more, which I was not excited to do, or spending about $50 in parts to just put a bag and a blade on this mower. And obviously I took the cheaper route because, well, because I took the cheaper route, because I'm a cheap ass. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna load our bag back onto this framework here, like so. Then you take each one of these and clip them back into place. What I expect here though is that it's going to be a little bit tight. I don't know for sure, but we're going to find out. So make sure we get all of these loaded back up in the right place, like a so. And that's eh, not too bad so far. They haven't really moved on to the other side yet. So, like this and this. I think that's kind of looking right. Just clip this all into place. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 what's going on here? I had it all tucked around. So now we get to see if it's going to be too tight which even if it is, we'll get it figured out a little bit. Not too bad. Clip and clip. Come on there. And clip and clip once again on this back one, which is not wanting to go right into place. But it's getting there. Just gotta work it in. Keep opening that up and getting it down onto the bar. And as you can see, ta-da! $30 bag, save us some money. Good running mower here. And there we go. Now, all we gotta do is replace the blade. So, what I will tell you that you should do is probably turn off the gas right here. And, uh, and we're gonna tip the mower over and get out my impact gun. Oh, that's a little bit different size bolt than I'm used to seeing on these things. Oh man, that blade's seen better days. Definitely gonna sharpen that though and put it to the side because there's no sense in throwing away a good blade. But we'll uh, get the impact gun and get that rattled off of there and see where we go from there. 
There we go, that seems to fit. One thing to mind when you're actually putting a blade on a mower is that oftentimes you'll get reverse threads on these. So, uh, and you want to make sure that the blade obviously goes back on in the same way, you know, not like this. If you go like this, you'll just be chopping the grass. And if you go like this, then you will be, you will not be chopping the grass, I guess. Rather, um, the easy way to tell the direction is uh, the direction that it's going to spin so that you get your sharp edges going the right direction would be to come back here and with, that, with the mower in the completely off position, just grab the pull rope and we can see that the blade is going to spin this direction <clears throat> so we want the sharp edges going that way. So we'll take our new blade, we're going to put this on like so and we will rattle this up. The reason that they will have reverse threads is because of the rotation of this blade. So if it's spinning this way, then this bolt spins this way to tighten. However, if the blade spins the other way, then this spins and if it all goes free, you know, it let off the clutch or if you shut it off, and then this bolt has a possibility of loosening up. So that's why there would be reverse threads or standard threads. And so in this case, it's a standard thread. It's a it's a righty tighty lefty loosey. <clears throat> that seems tight. We're gonna tip her back over, and then I'll just make one more mention after I apparently break off my dealy boobler here, which is no big deal. We just take this, put this side in that side, put this side in that side. Life is good. Something to mention here is uh, that uh, number one, you'll see that there's a little bit of gas that's dribbled out of there from the carburetor. That's why we shut the gas off, is so that even if the gas drains out of the carburetor, that it's not going to uh, continue draining out. It's only what's in the bowl. Second thing is, when you've had a mower on its side, you want to be aware that there's a possibility that the oil in the crankcase could have drained into the cylinder. So what you're going to want to do is uh, let the mower sit for a time and uh, be aware that the mower will probably smoke for a little bit after you first fire it up. So we're going to let the mower sit for a minute and we'll fire it up, make sure everything's running good and uh, I think we'll be ready to cut some grass. So one thing just to be aware of um, is that uh, you know I was going to fire it up in the garage but that's not a good idea because if there's anything on the floor it's going to spit it towards vehicles and even though this has a suction suction style blade to pull it up into the bag it still could fling a rock or something and crack a window or windshield or put a scuff in the lightning or the mustang so we're going to go ahead and make sure this thing fires up and it's probably flooded from uh, having the gas run down the throat Either that or the choke isn't working like usual. Oh, oh boy, that air filter's nasty. But we will address that. Well, I guess we got other problems to deal with before we go cutting grass. But in the meantime, I uh, hope maybe some of you have learned some stuff from basic maintenance and uh, do all of the youtuber -y things that you have done thus far. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I hope to see you in another video. Ha, you guys didn't really think I was going to let it go that easy, did you?